they want a certain outcome, and they want to sell you on the outcome. And and if you don't know what's happening, it's a sense of it's a it's a sort of mind control, a brainwashing, uh, a um, you know, it's crowd manipulation. And and unless you are aware and know what's happening, it, it's so subtle in a lot of cases. They don't have to ridicule you and shut you down because they've used so many um, of these techniques. There's, there's um, you know, they're working in concert together. They have handlers in the room. Oh, it, it's, yeah. it's it's actually very. Uh, disturbing and sinister, and once you know what's happening, it's very um, disconcerting. But once you know what's what they're doing, then it's very easy to uncover it and uh, expose it, and that's what we need well, to do. Well, there were some people who mastered this very kind of mass uh, 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 bullying, and one of them was named uh, Joseph Goebbels. He worked for Adolf Hitler. Mm -hmm. He was a master at shaping public opinion. Uh -huh. And obviously, in his case, shaping it against a certain groups of folks. But, but it is. Would you say that this is kind of like that? Like there are little stormtroopers out there. I mean, I, I don't, for lack of a better definition, that's what it sounds like. Is these folks are coming with an agenda to strip me of my rights and my freedom? Isn't that what their motivation is? A absolutely. I mean, these are Lin Alinsky type methods. You know, where they they beat you down, they you know overwhelm you. I mean, you you if you speak out in these meetings, you are immediately jumped on from all different directions um, by people who are saying vile things to you, and these facilitators just sit back and let it happen um, because they don't get their hands dirty for most of the you know they 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 are all too happy to let the crowd devour you, um, and most people can't handle that kind of. Um, you know, attack. And when you when you're an unsuspecting individual um, who goes into a public meeting thinking that all the other people there are just like you, just want to know what's going on and are concerned, and you know, you're just trying to figure out which way is up. Um, and you heard about this meeting, you don't, you're not prepared mentally for the game that's being played. I mean, this is really a game. This is a a um, you are an actor. Uh, an accidental actor in a play that already has a script, and everybody knows the script but you. <laughs> All right. Well, who sets up these meetings? What What do we look for? We We get a notice in the mail. We see something on the television. How well, do we identify you... one of these meetings is about to occur? Well, they're happening all the time, uh, and mostly you look for the terms like visioning, public workshop, outreach, um, Open forums, you know, anything. It's not. It's it's anything that's kind of uh, quasi governmental, but it's not. It's it's one of the things that the government, our, our legislatures are now doing is they're hiring these trained facilitators to run these public outreach meetings, so they don't have to get their hands dirty. They get the outcomes that they want. That people feel like you know they're duped into thinking they actually had input into some process, and then the um, staffers come back and basically inform them what happened, and they all vote whatever way they want anyway. Right. They make up the results. So why have the meetings at all? Because it's part of the public process. Because the, because it's the law. Um, at, for instance, um, in California, SB 375, which is Senate Bill 375, which calls for um, stack and pack housing at, next to mass transit, as um, our sustainable community strategy, um, that law requires that they hold so many public input um, series or workshops or informing processes. And so it's built into the bill. So they have to be able to, before they can move on with the process of actually taking away our private property rights and moving us all into you know, high density stack and pack housing, um, they've got to hold these public input hearings. And so they do it through these trained facilitation um, charrettes um, so that they can check the box and move on. And really all they're doing is putting on a dog and pony show um, so that they can check that box. All right. So I'm looking in the paper. I'm, I'm listening to my local radio station, mm -hmm. a community, a, a bulletin board on television, whatever, and I identify one of these meetings. Now what do I do? Well...